Sometimes when buying ignition parts, especially for cars from about the 1960s onward, we see references to ballasted and non-ballasted ignition systems. We see 1.5 ohm coils, we see 3 ohm coils, we see 6 volt coils, we see 12 volt coils. We have ballasted coils and non-ballasted coils. Well, it's only complicated becomes the industry has come up with a variety of ways to address what are basically just two basic systems. Now, to understand them, first we need to understand a little bit of history. For a very long time, cars that came with a 12-volt battery had a 12-volt coil in them, and that's how they operated. That was logical. So if you fed 12 volts to that 12-volt coil, it would work all day long. However, if you fed that coil with less than 12 volts, it might work poorly, it might not work at all. Now, back when these classic British cars were new, these cars were daily drivers. They faced the same issues all cars faced back then. They didn't like to start in the dead of winter. This technician remembers going out to push enough snow off the car to be able to get the door open. Then you go in, put the key in the ignition, engage the starter, and hope that this engine would come to life. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. The reason for this was easy. The battery was cold, so its efficiency was down. The oil inside the motor was heavy and thick from the cold. Every belt, bearing, and seal in this engine was stiff. In other words, turning this engine over was going to be a laborious challenge. As the starter threw everything it had at the task, it pulled all the power it could from the battery. Battery voltage would fall like a stone. Voltage throughout the car, including the ignition coil, depended on the battery, and the battery was embroiled in a voltage-sucking battle. The coil was trying to create the sparks that would be needed to get this engine to come to life, but under these conditions, low voltage, it often could only make a weak spark, or perhaps none. Fuel in the cylinders didn't burn, spark plugs got wet, the engine was flooded, the car could not start, the battle was lost. Now, the automotive engineers at the time developed an elegant and simple way to help cars start even when they were cold, even when the voltage was way down. It was commonly called a cold start package. In a nutshell, the ignition system was changed to allow the coil to fire even when the battery was pulled down, perhaps 30, perhaps 40% down from its optimum. The cornerstone of this new system was a different coil. In our next video, we're going to see how that different coil could make such a difference.